Greetings wonderful people, my name is Yvonne, and last weekend I made a game in 3 days for Ludendar Game Jam. The topic was Keep It Alive, and I made a Tamagotchi in which you play as your food. You are just a weak octopus with an incredibly strong brain capacity. To survive, you control its eye and possess creatures to drive them directly into your mouth. The game doesn't look as good as I would want it to, but hey, it's much better than its original representation. In the initial prototype you could select food with your cursor and then move it in 4 directions. The next step was importing Cine Machine and changing its target to possessed creatures. Later I gave player an ability to get into food's mind with the help of an eye and added a compass so that you can never lose yourself. I finished day 1 by experimenting with art style for the game and drawing a few sketches. You may wonder what was the first thing I did the next day. Oh, I made polished icons for user interface. I just figured out that I can't look at blunt imagery for too long. I need something to get excited about to stay motivated to keep working. Later, just to entertain myself, I taught my fish to do a barrel roll. I'm just kidding, in reality I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to use various math functions to achieve desirable angles. But I like the idea of barrel rolls and maybe they'll make it into the full game. Later I added some blurry particles to imitate 3D space and gave the non-existing octopus an ability to chew food. At some point by the end of day 3, I managed to finish these tadpoles, the most basic creatures in my aquarium. At around 2 am, just one hour before the submission time, I started working on the menu, but honestly, it looks much better than I could expect. Finally, I somehow built the game for browsers on the first try, which never happened to me before, and successfully uploaded it to each.io. I will leave a link to it in the description to this video. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more devlogs in the future, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.